Can we please, on the internet and in life, stop shaming people for things that are beyond their control? We got this sibling list, Danny. Yes, sibling list. I have... Kendall. No, yes, I have Kendall. We have Gretchen. One of my sister's husband or something. I have Gretchen, which is my brother's. But I'll take care of Gretchen now. Okay, right, I'll take care of her. What would you get Gretchen? A gun. <laughs> That's yeah. why I'll take care of it. <laughs> She was complaining. She was complaining that Eric gets guns all the time. No, yeah. she's not. Yeah, she is. Oh, we got another gun or a boat. Yeah, because she doesn't want more guns in her house. Maybe she's just jealous because she doesn't have one. Oh my gosh. No. Yeah, because even I haven't seen these on yet. Danny put up the Christmas lights today. Oh, they look cute. much later and I'm sitting in my wheelchair because this is the only chair that I could find to get this angle with the tree in the background because I feel like you guys don't really get to see that side of our house very often especially around Christmas it's like the best time to see it so you got to see it so by the way nails of the day because I'm about to change them so they're already like chipping off and everything but so I think they turn out pretty cute they're kind of fun I like this side especially look how chipped off they're getting Anyway, um, and for those that don't know why I have a wheelchair, um, it's, we got it, I think this year, earlier this year. Oh yeah, we got it for, so I pass out a lot. I have a lot of um, issues with my, uh, my equilibrium. Is that what it's called? I don't know. We're pretty sure that I have POTS, but I haven't had the official test. But like literally every doctor I talked to was like, yes, you have POTS, but we have to do the official test to officially diagnose you, but like we haven't done that yet. So. I don't know, but either, whatever it is, I have something where I pass out a lot. And um, especially in the heat, and especially if I'm standing for too long. And so we got this um, when my nephew got married back in August, beginning of August. Yeah, so we bought it right before that because he was getting married in a place that was gonna be like 110 degrees and the wedding was outside, everything was outside. So we're like, we, we, we might as well just invest in one because there's so many times where we'll go to the store and I get really sick like 10 minutes into it and I feel like I'm gonna pass out and Danny has to run and get a wheelchair. But if they don't have a wheelchair, then it sucks and it's, you know what I mean? So we just kind of got it just to have just in case. And um, if I'm doing anything that's like possibly pass out, we try to have the wheelchair available. I hate using it. It's extremely embarrassing. Um, people look at me like, you're fine, what are you doing? But like, I know that I need it and I definitely do need it, my body needs it. Um, and people just can't see, can't see why though. Like they, you know, it's like an invisible illness. And so anyway, that's why I have it and okay. So I want to tell you real quick why we didn't vlog for yesterday. So yesterday we did a live stream for you, for, yeah. For you yesterday we did a live stream because we didn't have vlog footage. That's because the day before that was a horrible day. And I just want to tell you about it real quick. Um, and I'm very hesitant to do this just because I have been made fun of a lot on the internet. Like I know I'm going to get made fun of for this wheelchair. I'll get, I get made fun of for a lot of things on the internet out there. And uh, there are just people that just seem to be obsessed with me. Hi, thanks for being my biggest fan and watching and giving me money by watching and 
that's great of you to do. Um, just kidding, sorry, I'm a little sassy right now. But um, yesterday I woke up and I felt really um, sick. Like I woke up and immediately just like had to bolt to the toilet and just vomited everywhere. And I felt really sick, so I went to lay back down. And so I laid down, I fell asleep, and like a couple hours later I woke up and my entire body was like, I, I wish I would have taken a picture or something because my face was just like, I look, I look like a marshmallow. Like every, my entire body from head to toe was just so swollen. I've never seen it like that before. I really wish I would have took a picture, but I was too miserable. Um, I, I felt like crap and I um, had all these new symptoms and it just was weird. It was almost like I had a reaction to something, but there was no itching or anything, just extreme nausea and extreme stomach pain and extreme swelling and then pain everywhere, head to toe. So I have something called fibromyalgia, which is a real thing. I know people make fun of it. It's a real thing and it freaking sucks. And if you have it, you know what I'm talking about. It really sucks. Stop making fun of people. Stop making fun. It's not something to make light of. It's not funny. Anyway, one of the things that can cause like a fibromyalgia flare up is the cold. Like it's very sensitive to the cold um, and extreme hot for me anyway. Like if it's extremely cold or extremely hot is when my fibromyalgia is at its worst. Um, and I feel like you can't see me because of my glasses, but like I kind of don't want to take them off because I'm still a little swollen. You don't care. Okay. Um, I'll just like who cares? No one cares. Okay. Anyway, so when I have a fibromyalgia flare up, it, you know, I know what it feels like. Like I know what it feels like to have it all the time. But when I have a big flare up, it's awful. And this kind of felt like that, except like times 10. It almost felt like when I had COVID, like I ended up in the hospital from COVID because it was so physically painful from head to toe, like my muscles and my joints and everything. And it, COVID comes out in many different ways for different people. For me, I think it was the high fever. If you get like a super high fever, then you just feel pain from head to toe. And I did have a fever. So uh, I tried resting, I tried, we tried literally everything that we could do and we ended up going to the hospital. And I'm glad we did because we found out some things, um, nothing too serious, thankfully it wasn't COVID. I was convinced that it was COVID because of the pain that I had was the same as COVID. Um, that it was either COVID or that my uh, colitis was flaring up or something because I kind of had two issues. I had the stomach issue and then I also had the pain everywhere. So anyway, so they ran a bunch of tests. Uh, they found that um, I definitely was having a very bad fibromyalgia flare up. They think that my fever was also contributing to the pain from head to toe. They found that my colitis is back, so that's really fun. And they found that I had dropped again in my uh, iron and blood levels, uh, pretty bad. So I have to go get an iron infusion, possibly blood, we'll see. We're also still waiting on some tests because they thought that I might have some sort of infection in my blood, which can get really dangerous, um, but I won't know that for I don't know how long it takes up to two or three days to find to get the results so they're just gonna call me if it's something serious if they don't call me then it's nothing so that's good so i'm hoping they just don't even call and they gave me two or three bags of fluids which totally bloated me today like like they gave me so many fluids that i just was like i woke up today being like oh my gosh i could conquer the world let's go to costco let's go christian shopping let's do all like i just felt like a new woman it was crazy but then when we got home tonight i was like oh i shouldn't have gone out because i think i don't know i think i do have a little bug or something but nothing serious it wasn't the flu it wasn't covid it wasn't anything like horrible like that so that's good so but i'm so glad that we went in the fluids they gave me the meds they gave me really helped out a lot i was able to sleep and just get a full night's rest and it just was so nice. So yeah, so the next step now is to go get an infusion. So that's where we were and that's why we didn't film that day and it just was a really rough day and I didn't really want to document any of it. I felt miserable, I looked not like myself at all. I was completely swollen from head to toe and it was really like, it was awful, it wasn't fun, so, but but yeah, but they were really helpful and I am glad that we went in. And again, like I'm feeling really insecure about even sharing this right now. And so that's the other thing I'm gonna talk about right now, which is. <clears throat> Can we please 
on the internet and in life. Stop shaming people for things that are beyond their control. Can we please stop doing that? I am so tired of getting made fun of for my health issues, my physical and mental, but my physical health issues that I can't help that I've had for different times for different issues. It blows my mind how rude people can be and how like, oh my gosh, she's sick again. And oh, she's in the hospital again. And she blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, are you serious right now? Like, if, if I could help this, I would. Like most of, most of my problems are not my fault. There are things that are my fault, such as I would say, my doctors don't agree, but I think that my gastroparesis is my fault because of my eating disorder. But again, an eating disorder is also such a hard thing and it's hard to like, is it something you're choosing to do or is it an addiction? And for me, it was an addiction, but you do kind of choose it in the beginning, but then it becomes an addiction and it's, it just gets really messy and I don't know. And I, I see that like elsewhere too. Like I, I don't only really see this online, like I've been shamed in real life. So I want to talk about this because I have a feeling, no, I know for a fact that so many of you out there relate, especially my audience, know what it's like to have either physical or mental health issues that are not your fault and you get judged for it and it freaking sucks. Like world, like stop, stop making fun of or judging or criticizing somebody over something that they can't help. Stop. We already feel miserable enough ourselves and we already feel embarrassed enough about it and shamed about it because that's just how the world is and like it's not necessary and it doesn't help anybody it makes it 10 times worse shining editing here i just wanted to add this a lot of people that have like multiple health issues especially the ones that are invisible tend to mask a lot because we live in a society that kind of doesn't really believe something's wrong with you unless you look like something's wrong however we also live in a society where we are shamed for things that we shouldn't be shamed for, like the things I've been speaking of. And so we also develop this like masking system, basically. Like I'm the best masker in the world, I would say. Like I've been doing it literally my entire life, masking how I really feel, masking how I really think, all those things, just putting this, this mask on, which by the way, takes almost as much energy as it does to actually fight whatever illness you're having. So it's, it's it, it, just because somebody looks like they're fine or they act like they're fine, it doesn't mean they're fine. So just, just stop judging people in general. Okay, back to the thing. To go through it when we get made fun of or treated differently or like treated like we're just being dramatic or whatever, just because you can't see an illness doesn't mean it's not there, physical and mental. Just because you can't physically see it doesn't mean it's not there. So why are you making fun of it? Stop. <sighs> Makes me so mad. And I've dedicated, I have dedicated the last few months of my life to not giving a what these people think about me out there in on different platforms, on this platform, different social medias. You know, I don't really get a lot of hate here or like, but there are some other platforms out there that I get a lot of hate and um, I have dedicated my life to just not giving them any attention, which is why I won't name them by name, but it was killing me, like it was killing me. And so I made the decision that I had to stop interacting with that stuff. But every once in a while, I still get a comment or I still get, or somebody else will make a video about me talking about it and making fun of me or whatever. And so I just, um, it's still there and it's, I'm still aware that it's there, even though I'm trying to avoid it as much as I can, just because it, the, what it did to my mental health was, it, it was really bad. And I never want to have to go through what I've been through uh, a few months ago when I finally, like it was so bad that it literally made me decide like I cannot look anymore because it will kill me. I'm not kidding, it will kill me type thing. And I'm not perfect, like I'm gonna mess up and I'm gonna slip here and there and th these things happen and it's just, you know, it's just how it is. But like, I just, it just, I, I guess it just confuses me because I'm just like, I don't know, if it were me, maybe it's just me. Am I weird here? Like if there's somebody that I don't like, if there's somebody that's bringing me pain or triggering me or making me feel some sort of bad way, negative way, then I stay away from that, right? Like 
If you don't like somebody, you don't have to interact with them. There's no law that says that if you don't like my videos or if my videos trigger you, or if my personality, my story, my life, my health issues that I can't help, whatever, pisses you off or whatever, why, are you, why do you care then? Why are you watching? If it's triggering you, then leave. And if you're just here to make fun of me, that says a lot more about you than me. That's pretty scummy in my opinion. It's taken me a while to get to this place. I have been working on this so hard. You can ask Danny, you can ask my family, you can ask my closest friends. I have been working on this so hard because it was so, especially at first, it was so hard to just not look at those things that I knew were gonna be making fun of me or that I knew were gonna be judging me or making up straight up lies about me, like the most horrific lies ever that they could about me. It's taken me a long time to get to this place now and I still have a long way to go, but I'm doing so much better than I was. And it just, and it, it, I felt like I had like a new life as soon as I made that decision to stop engaging and stop even reading or looking for it or whatever. Cause of course I would look for it when I was having like self-hatred already. I would be like, okay, let's go see who else hates me because I know I'm not wrong about this. Like everyone should hate me. And so let's go find proof that people hate me. And then I would go looking for it. Like all of that, I've been working really, really hard to get through that and to get over doing that. And I've still got a ways to go, but I've come a long way and I'm so proud of myself. And I just, it, it just, I can't even tell you what it's done for me. So like, if you have an issue in your life, I'm sharing this because like, if you're going through anything where somebody in life doesn't understand you or they make fun of you or they make up lies about you or they just hate you and they're very vocal about that, or whatever it is, um, I'm 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 telling you from the bot now that I've experienced it, I know how hard it is to get away from it. But if you can get away from it, okay? If there's a coworker at work that abuses you mentally every day or makes fun of you or laughs at you or whatever, avoid the coworker. Just don't even talk to them. You don't owe them anything. You don't have to talk to them at the water fountain just because you're both there. You don't have to do that. Ignore them. People at work, people at school, people at church, people wherever you go. If somebody is giving you behavior that you know you don't deserve, trust yourself in that and be like, wait, I know that I don't deserve this. So why am I letting it bother me so much when I know that that's not who I am, you know? And I know who I am and, and I know that I'm trying my best to get better and I'm trying my best to grow as a person every single day and make mistakes and learn from them and keep growing and keep growing. And if you're gonna like in, engulf yourself in the world of people that don't let you forget every little mistake that you've made or else they blow your little mistakes into some up into something that it's not, which is so frustrating that, why would you even want them in your life? It's not even worth it. It's just not worth it. And. That's something that's been helping me a lot and it's been helping me in many different ways. It's been helping me in my eating disorder recovery for sure. It's been helping me health wise, even though yes, we know I have a lot of health issues, but like a lot of some of the issues, like my heart issues especially, have subsided since then, since I decided to cut all of that negativity out of my life. So, and again, I'm not perfect. I've slipped here and there. I've seen things here and there and, and it sucks. and. But luckily I've got a really good partner and I've got a really good team of people in my life that will help me through it. And um, that's another thing that you could do, like find somebody, anybody to be kind of like your sponsor to help you stay away from whatever it is that's poisoning your life, you know? And I'm gonna do my best to keep talking about this and to keep like saying it over and over and over in case you do watch my videos and you're struggling with this, maybe hearing it over and over would help you. Get rid of the toxicity in your life. Get rid of the toxicity in your life. And if you're the toxic one in your life, which I have been myself, fix it, you know? Do what you need to do to fix it. And it might take a long time. I'm still in the middle of fixing my toxicity, but I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm learning what's toxic. I'm learning why I've allowed certain other toxicity into my life that's been helping me to understand and to not allow it any further, if that makes sense. There are things you can do, just sometimes it's gonna be really hard and it's gonna, might take longer than others and just don't compare to them. Just do it at your own pace and just do what you can when you can. 
And as long as you're doing that, then you're doing great and you're on the right track. And I promise you, I promise you, it feels so good to get to a place where you're not chained up by these people. Like, like I, I feel like I'm free, like I'm not chained up by that. It's not this like invisible ball and chain that I have attached to me at all times. It's like, oh, I already chose to not engage in that. So I don't need that, I don't, I'm good. And then the longer you do it, the easier it gets and the less slip ups you'll have where you let that kind of negativity into your life. Um, and again, I'm not perfect, but man, I'm working hard on it. And that's one of the biggest things I've been working on that's helped me in so many different ways. So I just wanted to share that with you. Anyway, I've been rambling for a long time, so I'm gonna go, we love you, I love you. And thank you for watching and thank you for supporting. Always leave questions below. We're gonna be doing, oh, comment of the day. Let's do comment of the day first. Actually, go and watch our live stream from today or yesterday for you. Uh, Cause I answered all the questions that I could find on my last video. So, but leave questions below for this video and you could be comment of the day or comments of the day, depending on how much time we have each day. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. You can ask us anything. We might not answer anything, but we will answer most things. You can ask or say whatever you want and we'll do comment of the day from here on out. So, okay, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching, bye.